Welcome back to the Smart Money Conversation with GNF Financial Group. I'm here with Tyler, financial planner. Big question, how much money do we need to retire? Kevin, that's a great question. I get asked that quite often. I get people in front of me that give me numbers like, I've heard I need a million dollars to retire. Right. I, Sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> Just okay. thinking about Go it. On. <laughs> I think, you know, uh, those numbers um, can really dissuade someone from maybe even starting the process. So really, I think uh, what you have to do is you have to sit down with a financial advisor, someone that can help you. If you're able to do it on your own, fantastic. But a lot of us um, bring in professionals for times like this to say, for me specifically, what do I need in retirement? If I am looking to cover a certain amount of expenses in retirement, and that is the first part that we spend a lot of time doing, helping people identify what their retirement might look like. So paint me a picture. You wake up in the morning after your first day of retirement, you've had coffee, you've had your bowl of porridge. What do you do for the rest of the day? Right. You volunteer, do you play golf? What does that look like? You're hopefully eating something better than porridge. Maybe. Anyway. Um. <laughs> so, at, and then at the end of the day, knowing what that uh, expense will look like in your retirement, that will tell you how much you need, what resources do you need to cover that? So a million dollars, that to me is a, a, a a great number to throw out there if you want to have someone not start the process. For each individual, it can be very different. If someone had a company pension plan, that can fund a significant amount of what your retirement expectation could be, what your income need could be. Right. You pair that up with a government pension that we may get on top of that, uh, with some personal savings, uh, it can look very different. A million dollars might be uh, far away from what you need. So you look at the big picture as a financial planner. You look at not just RSPs, you look at the pension, you look at the liquid savings, the nest egg that you've built over the years too. And so when you look at something like this, uh, you also factor in, well, how different our lives are going to be, not just lifestyle wise, but from where we are currently with our expenses. Maybe you are currently paying down your mortgage, but by the time you retire, maybe that mortgage is going to be very small, hopefully, or maybe you will have paid that off. That takes care of a big chunk of your expenses, or maybe your kids have moved out by then. Absolutely, and I think that's a great point as well. We hear more and more today of what's called the sandwich generation where your kids have moved out, but maybe sometime throughout your retirement, your kids have moved back in, right. and now you're also caring for your elderly parents. So I think this is a, something as well that um, for myself, working as a financial planner, I've been through these situations uh, several times, so I can kind of help guide people on areas that they may not foresee could happen to them, but showing them if this was the outcome, how would we how would our retirement change? And right. do we have enough resources to cover that? And uh, there's a lot of uh, you know, resources at people's fingertips, a lot of information online. So it's about getting the right information for you specifically. And finding a financial planner that you can relate to, that you trust, that you feel is knowledgeable. Someone like yourself, Tyler, from GNF Financial Group. Thank you very much. Thank you.